Senator Nelson made his final stop in Stewart, where the St. Lucie River is experiencing a number of reported algae blooms. Tonight, activists and county leaders, they are voicing their concerns, hoping that the feds prevent future algae crises. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan is live in Stewart tonight with our story. Alex? Well, Michael Shannon and Senator Nelson starting the meeting off here in Stewart, letting everyone know that news about the Herbert Hoover Dyke, those repairs speeding up by three years, is going to be done by 2022. But everyone else in attendance letting him know that's not enough. A packed house at Stewart City Hall, hammering Senator Bill Nelson with the ongoing problems in their waterways from health concerns. Nausea, vomiting, skin rashes, coughing, shortness of breath, gout, achy limbs, joints. Impacts of the ecosystem. It's getting worse all the time. And as we see, not only the algae blooms, but things that are happening in our waterways, it's just really critical. And business owners losing money. We talk a lot about shared adversity here in Florida, and it seems like we get the brunt of it on the east and west coast. Folks here on the Treasure Coast have had enough of blue-green algae in their backyards. Today, Senator Bill Nelson hearing their concerns, but giving them some good news. Repairs to the Herbert Hoover Dyke will speed up three years, done by 2022. He says that will allow the lake to hold more water. He also mentioned getting authorization for a reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee to treat and store water. This is going to continue on an occasional basis until you can get these projects in place and operating. But for everyone here, that's just not enough, as those solutions may be years away, wanting action now. I would like to see them hold the water back, the discharges back for a little bit longer. With the lake being 90% covered or better in algae right now, I hate to see them open the locks again. And the Corps plans to resume those discharges on Monday. We're talking pulse discharges as the lake it has risen since they stopped those discharges last weekend. Reporting live in Stewart, Alex Hagan, WPTV, News Channel 5.